before I start the video, yes, there's a code somewhere. It's easier to see this time, so it's probably gonna be claimed pretty fast. But if you find it, good for you. Um, but you know, it's been pretty. It's been a pretty common topic to call the honey badger a bad weapon recently, since obviously it's not as good as it was before. Um, but that's really not the case. The honey. Okay, this is very much the wrong setup. Uh, let me show you the setup before I actually start talking. Right. So um, I've been messing around a little bit with the honey honey badger and what I feel like is best for it, and I have come to this setup. And you might then wonder what a rest suppressor on a honey badger. Look at those ranges. Like you put us I mean you can put a squad barrel on it if you want to. But I feel like the recoil reduction that the ARS uh, suppressor brings is more than enough for me to um, push put, uh, use it over um, the squad barrel. Though you can also use T-break if you'd like that. But I like the suppressed weapon. And then armor piercing of course because 1.95 studs of penetration. The sideways grip reduces the rotational recoil at the honey badger has and then the delta side because I like it and the full stock because you know it's a, it's a full stock but why is the honey badger still so good because the thing is like the honey badger isn't a bad weapon at all all right it comes down to three very simple things that this gun does very well it has pretty solid fire rate it has extremely fast reload and it has very good penetration though its ranges are absolutely horrid that is not the biggest problem in the world so uh <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like the thing is, like I'm, I'm obviously the the, the person that very much popularized the honey badger. Like you, you guys remember the hollow po hollow point honey badger setup and how prevalent it was, pro pretty much everywhere. Because I hit the first recorded 200 kill game ever with it, so it was pretty. It, it, it was granted that would it would happen that the honey badger would just be popular after that. But then it kind of fell off after the long barrel nerf and the hollow. I don't think hollow point was nerfed actually, but it, the long barrel nerf specifically. Because the hot, because the long barrel with hollow point really made the gun in a way. Um, wait, let me, let me show you the recoil though. Okay, well he was low. As you can see, it's quite accurate. It's quite accurate. It doesn't feel like the honey badger should be accurate like that. Um, because the thing is, you don't really need um, a free hit kill with this. Like, sure, it, it's nice, but Hollow Point really doesn't have that good of a free hit kill range anymore compared to, the, to what it had before. So I feel like armor piercing is ultimately the better choice due to just how much penetration it has. Like, you, you, you can shoot through pretty much every wall on Warehouse. Like, wait, let me show you. I need to show you the recoil, all right? You know what? We're gonna play Desert Storm, all right? I, re I really want to show you how how the recoil is, because with ARS suppressor and sideways grip and full stock, it's actually um, quite an accurate weapon, surprisingly. Okay, let me show you, alright, let me just spawn, uh, let me let me get to a spot where I can just straight up beam someone, alright, let me just, let me just go here, alright. Look at that guy. Wait, no. Oh, okay. I mean, you can very much see that it's <laughs> it's quite accurate. I mean, you saw that. That was that was what 150 studs were just 100% beam someone. I just want to try to get a long range kill. Like, give me a second. Yeah, maybe from here. Maybe maybe I get some nice beam from here. All right, let me see. Let me see here. All right. Oh my god, why are they not spawning? Like, I I don't get it. Every time I try to look for someone, they don't spawn and. I mean, yeah, you, you, okay, yeah, you, you understand now that it's quite accurate with this setup. You just saw what I did. That was like 300 studs at the very least, you know? And with, due to the fact that a honey badger has 22 minimum damage, it's like, actually, I don't know if 22 minimum damage is enough. I know, like, I, I know that was enough to prove that it's accurate, but I, I just want to get the kill. Like, I, I, I don't know. Is that too much to ask for? I mean, there we go. That, that's, that's a kill. And combined with insane penetration and insane reload and how accurate it is generally, it's just a very good pick. It's one of the... I'd say it's the best carbine still. Actually, yeah, no, it's pretty much still the best carbine. Like, carbines aren't very good overall, I'd say, like most of them. But the, the Honey Badger really shine, shines in what it does, you know? I wanna play... I wanna play Metro now. I wanna play Metro now. <laughs> I kind of want to. I kind of want to equip the Zweihander, bro. I don't know. I I I, I kind of like it as my melee now because it's so OP. It really is. Like once you quick swipe someone, it's like they just die. They they literally just die. They disappear, bro. Um. So where is it actually? Here it is. All right, great. So. Um, but yeah, we're on Metro, um, Hardpoint actually, and Dracarius is in my server. Um, that's not very good. What? I, okay, Jesus Christ, what was that movement, bro? I thought it was gonna absolutely fold and destroy me, bro. Send me to the Shadow Realm. No chance in hell I would have survived that, bro. Ah! 
Okay. <laughs> See what I mean? God, I dude, this melee is so silly. Um, but yeah, no, the honey badger really turned from a close quarters demon weapon to you know still good at close quarters, more more but more of a mid range weapon, you know. No, the reload saves me so much with the honey badger. It's kind of crazy because like. People, people really underestimate how important reload is in Final Forces, especially something like the Honey Badger, where in close quarters you just gotta reload and hope you survive. And due to the fact that how fast it just reloads, it, that is very much possible. But when it comes to like stuff that has pretty slow reload, like the AK-47 or something like that, it just isn't the same, you know? Okay. 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 I'm dead! Okay, I'm good. Oh my god. Yeah, no, this honey badger goes. Jesus Christ. I mean, you, I, it's just like, I don't know. You can do good, really, with any gun that has like 800 RPM. As, as I was saying, you can do good with any gun that has like 800 RPM, have 4 hit kill in CQC, and like pretty fast reload. That's really all you need for a solid weapon nowadays, you know? And, uh, and the Hunting Badger is the perfect embodiment of that due to how fast it reloads. I'm going 14, 1, and 2, bro. That's that's not okay. I gotta be real with you. That, that's ill. Like, <laughs> dude. I mean, I'm loving it. I'm loving how this performs. Like, it, it just does exactly what I want. It's like perfect for my playstyle. You know, fast reload. I dude, I've said it's 18 times now, bro. How am I alive? How am I alive, dude? Jesus Christ. <laughs> what happened here? Oh, 138 and 15 with a bunch of time left. That's uh, that's that's great. Mm -mm -mm. But yeah, no, I mean you, you get it, you get it. It's it's solid. It's it's a good pick still. All right, sure. It's not as good as before, but it's good. It kills. Yeah. All right. Goodbye. Love you. Mwah.